Hey guys, it's Natalia and welcome back to another vlog. I feel like I haven't vlogged in a hot minute, but I kind of wanted to take you guys through a couple days of the week. This week is super busy. These next two weeks are super busy. I recently announced on Instagram that I'm actually going to California in a couple weeks to showcase a collection. So there's a lot of prep work I have to do for that. But on top of that, I also am still working through custom orders from like February, which is insane that it's taken me this long to get through them all, but it's just been so busy and I took on way too many. So I still need to get through all of those ideally before California so in the next few weeks and I also have all the orders to make from my last little mini collection launch which was the peach terrace dresses and the rose tops so I have to cut all of those out and I'm actually having one of my seamstresses come in tomorrow to help me sew them I might have her come in another time this week as well because I just have so much to get done and I don't have time to do everything so I kind of just want to take you guys through like just a very busy week what like my my life looks like because I feel like I'm doing a million different things at once all the time and yeah it's not always super glamorous and fun so I kind of wanted to document this side of things as well I honestly have so much to do that I haven't even really fully organized myself and how I want to get things done what I want to start with or do so I'm like still all over the place this past weekend I was volunteering on a retreat all weekend so I literally was off the grid for three days and I'm like coming back to everything answering back to all these emails and DMs and all the things that I didn't do over the weekend and now I'm just like super stressed. But I'm gonna go through my emails real quick, make sure that everything is good and then I will start working. All right, I'm done with emails, going through my studio. I have a lot to clean up, but before we start, I do wanna say that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. So let's talk about that for a second. Skillshare is an online learning community where you can find classes for every topic possible from illustration, design, photography, video, freelancing, to so much more. I've personally actually been looking into the lifestyle classes. I sometimes get really overwhelmed with trying to learn new creative things and try to learn new skills. So I've actually looked into just trying to learn more lifestyle habits and tips. And to my surprise, I actually found some really cool sustainability classes on here. And I was so happy to find this specific class because I actually follow Going Zero Waste, like this uh, blogger on Instagram and I love her account so much. So I was super happy to see that she actually has a set of classes on here because I already love her. So if you wanna try Skillshare out, the first 1000 people to use the link in my description will get a free trial of Skillshare premium membership so you can explore your own creativity. All right, so my studio is kind of a mess because I've been working on a million things at once. So let me show you. This is what we're working with. As you can see, I have a custom order right there. I have another one over here there and just like stuff everywhere. I also still have one more puff sleeve top to make that I kind of forgot about until just now, but we kind of went back and forth about how long she wanted it and the sleeves are gonna be a little different. So that's why that's still there. And then I have all my orders for this past launch here. And I just wanna clean all of this up before I start. I love to start with a clean studio space. So let's clean this up. So my studio is clean. I've cleared off my table. Usually when I say I need to clean my studio, it's more of just like clearing up my table for space and kind of cleaning up all of my little scraps and putting them in their designated bags and stuff. I know I haven't really done much with my scraps lately, but when I tell you I do have a lot of them and they are all still categorized, they are all still there. Still haven't thrown anything away. I'm just still trying to get to the ideas of what I want to do with them, but I also have had so much to do that I haven't had the time to actually like think and experiment and just like you know test things out so hopefully i will get to that in the next two weeks if not i'm just gonna have to wait till after california because i really need to do stuff with them but i just really have not had the time to sit and like think about it and just experiment so so right now i'm gonna make the last long sleeve puff sleeve top this one i had to make a little bit different because i realized i didn't have enough fabric for the full sleeves for this very last one like the last order of it and so i emailed her and i was like hey like i'm so sorry i miscalculated 
this I don't actually have enough fabric for a full long sleeve like I could either just refund you for it or I could make it like a shorter sleeve if that is something that you're interested in and you know giving her options because I felt bad about it she was super nice about it and she said she's totally fine with like a shorter sleeve so that's what we're gonna do this is one of these situations that I'm always so scared of when it comes to these last minute restocks it's like I really don't know if I'm gonna have enough fabric sometimes because you also never know what sizes are gonna come in it's like I maybe do have enough for like three smalls or mediums or larges but it's like if somebody were to order like a 4xl like i don't have enough for 4xl plus like a small enemy you know what i mean like sometimes it's really hard to figure out how much i can actually make of something because you never know what size it's gonna be too and like this one wasn't a size issue it was more of like a just length of a sleeve issue for me i guess so yeah but i'm always scared of that and the fact that it happened i was like oof but People have always been super nice about it. And I always obviously give them like some sort of solution, either like some sort of alteration to it or just refund, like whatever. Give them options um, just because obviously it's my mistake. I'm gonna go ahead and make that so I can send it out to her as soon as possible. She wanted a specific length for it too that wasn't like cropped or full, like somewhere in between. So we also went back and forth about like the measurement for that. So that's also why this one is still in the works, but I'm gonna get this done today just so I can send it out. And then we'll get started on all the new orders. I just got the top done as you can see it's like a mid length it's not a full length but it's not crops just like somewhere in between and these sleeves are a three-quarter length so this is what we ended up with I think it's super cute I'm gonna go ahead and get it packed up because I actually want to take it to the post office right away I have two other packages I need to take so I want to get those out and I also need to go buy Joann's and buy something and I don't remember what I needed but I know that last night I told myself I needed to go for something so I'll think about that and then I'll I'll go I'm like really debating it right now. What do I need? Oh, I needed more grommets for my rose tops is what I needed and more ribbon. That is what I need. So I'm going to also head there after the post office. But I'm going to package this up and then we'll head out. Okay, I got the package all ready and I got dressed so that I can head out. I'm gonna go ahead and drop this off at the post office. I think I'm just gonna go through the drive through drop off. I don't think I have anything in my PO box to check for. So I'm going to go ahead and drop those off. I'm gonna go to Joann's to get the grommets. I'm gonna show you guys. I honestly need to find these in bulk. I just haven't taken the time to yet, but these are the ones that I have been using. They're just the small gold ones. And this is the ribbon that I got. I'm not sure where to buy ribbon been sustainably to be honest like no clue where I should source that so I have just been buying it there but I need to get more because I don't think this is going to be enough for all the orders so if they have more I'll check it there if not I will try to find this online but if I can get it today it'd be easier and yeah those are the two things that I need to get that's what we're gonna do and then we'll head back and um, get started on all these other orders <laughs> The drive through mailboxes were literally stuffed, so we're going in. So I've made it to Joann's. I actually need to post on Instagram because it is my posting time. So I'm gonna do that really quick and then I'm going to head in there and grab what I need. So uh, yeah, let's do the thing. So I just posted it. I posted a full front and back of the Cecilia set and I'm super excited to get your feedback on it because I got a lot of good feedback on this picture and you can barely even see it. So I'm excited to see what you guys think of it. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and go get my stuff and I will be right back. All right, I got the goods. They didn't have the exact same ribbon, but I found one that's like literally like the same color, but like the tiniest bit different, but it's pretty much the same. It's not like a huge difference at all. So yeah, now we're gonna head home and I'm probably honestly gonna have lunch as soon as I get home because I'm hungry and it is that time of day. So that's the vibe, let's go home. Thank you. 
So I've been home for a hot minute and I had lunch and everything. I just forgot that I was vlogging today, so I didn't update you guys. But I wanted to show you guys a package that I got that I'm super excited about. So I got this super cute patchwork bikini from Mitra. The label, it is a sustainable swimwear line and it is all handmade by one person. I believe her name is Emily. I'm so excited about it because obviously I just wanted like a new bathing suit for California because I think we're going to go to LA and then go to the beach. So super excited about that, but also just to support someone who's doing the exact same thing I am. Like she makes everything herself and it's all sustainable obviously ethical because she's making it it's super size inclusive as well so like I just want to support somebody who's literally doing the exact same thing as I am but obviously in a different field because she just does swimwear so I'm super excited about it obviously she's also zero waste as she's like you know making these from scraps which is really really cool I also think that the color combo is really really cute so super excited about it but yeah just want to add that in there I will have her website linked down below if you guys want to check it out because she has the cutest little styles and I am obsessed all right back in the studio I'm gonna go ahead and cut out the peach to rest dresses because those are a style that I've already done before and the seamstress that's coming in tomorrow has already helped me with those in the past so I want to get those out of the way because she already knows how to put those together so I can just have her like do that in case I don't get to cutting out all the other tops today or anything like that she can just like go through and do those so that's what I'm gonna do I also really would like to film a YouTube video for tomorrow because I didn't upload on Tuesday last week or Saturday because I was just so busy and I literally did not have the time to even think about it so I would like to upload a video tomorrow but that means I also have to film a video for tomorrow. So I might do that after, but TBD, I want to get these dresses cut out first just to make sure I have that set for her tomorrow. <laughs> died like in the middle of that but I got all three of these cut and surged so they are ready to go for tomorrow so that is good that is honestly like all I need for tomorrow because she's not coming for that long so I think she's coming for four hours these take a very long time so it's not like she's even going to get through all three so have those ready to go I'm going to film a YouTube video I think I'm going to do like a tutorial on ruffles it's something that I've had like on my list of like fashion design 101 video ideas for a while and it's quick and easy and I can definitely get that filmed and edited in a day. I basically just want to show like the two different ways to pretty much make ruffles, which is like gathered or like on bias. I want to show the two and the differences and how to do them because I love adding ruffles to things and I just feel like that's like a basic thing you should know. So I want to do that, which by the time that this video is up, that video should be up. So if you check that out, I will have it linked down below as well as the rest of like my fashion design 101 videos because those are really fun. I put a lot of time and effort into those. So please go check them out if you are interested in learning about just like sewing fashion design in general but yeah i think i'm going to go ahead and film that and then get back to you guys after so i just finished filming my little ruffles video i did both of these so check that out if you haven't already that was really quick to film which is really good i'm gonna go ahead and probably start editing that today so that i can just get that up tomorrow i have been so behind on youtube i just haven't had the time to even think about it i've had all these custom orders that i thought i would have done so then i thought i'd have the videos of them done too to upload and i just haven't been able to actually finish the order so i haven't had the video so i didn't have anything planned and that's kind of why i've been so behind but i'm gonna go ahead ahead and edit that hopefully it shouldn't take too long it's pretty quick video so it shouldn't be too bad i'm gonna go ahead and start editing <laughs> So I just got the video ready and it is processing on YouTube. So that is getting ready to go. That was quick, but also took a while. And now it is about 6.30. So I'm probably going to start getting ready to have dinner here soon because I'm getting hungry again. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat dinner and shower and all of that. Hi guys, it's about 8.15 right now and I had dinner, showered, all of that, but I am just feeling uber anxious right now and have been all day, but like it always hits more at night. So I think I'm honestly going to just chill out a little bit and play piano or something because I 
don't want to go straight into work when I'm already feeling like antsy about things so I'm gonna just chill out and I'll probably get back to you guys tomorrow morning because just don't feel like it's gonna be a very productive night if it is I'll let you know tomorrow morning but I kind of just want to take it slow and rest a little bit because I always know that if I overwork myself or push myself too much when I'm feeling this way I usually just like crash and break and it's really bad so i'm gonna go play piano take a break and i'll catch you guys tomorrow morning good morning guys it is now the next day last night i just needed a break so i took a break feeling a lot more refreshed this morning and now i'm ready to actually start patterning out these rose tops so that is what we're gonna start with hopefully i can get it all done and start to cut those out <music> Okay, I've got all of my patterns graded up to an XL, which is the biggest size that I got for this launch. So here's all of that. I get so tripped up doing pattern grading because there's just so many little tiny things that you have to remember and think about. So hopefully all of those actually turned out well. The one thing I don't like about working just by myself and for myself is the fact that I can't have anybody double check what I'm doing half the time. So I just have to like hope and pray that I did things right. So I'm gonna go ahead and start cutting all of these orders out so that I can get them I'm ready to go because when my seamstress comes like I said yesterday I'm gonna have her do the dresses and I think I'm just gonna get started on all these tops these are really quick to put together so I'm not too worried about that I should hopefully get them done before Friday is my goal so that I have time to do other stuff throughout the week so that's kind of the vibe I'm going to go ahead and start cutting these out So I have a couple more to cut out, but I'm just gonna save those for later. I have a call here in a little bit, and then I wanna take lunch before my seamstress gets here. So I'm gonna kind of prepare for that, and I will catch you guys after. I have no clue if I'm actually gonna film with her here or not, because it's still like new, and I don't wanna be like putting cameras in people's faces since it's like still early on in their time working for me. So TBD on if I'll show you that, or if I'm just gonna catch you guys after. But yeah, I'm going to take the call and have some lunch and I'll get back to you. Hi guys, it is about 5.30 now. My seamstress just left. I was able to get a little time lapse of just a portion of the time that she was here. She was here for four hours, so we got so much done, which is so nice. I forget how nice and helpful it is to have somebody here and how much faster things go. She has the dresses nearly done. All I really have to do is put together the ruffle at the bottom on all of them, like put it on there and put on the sleeves. And like, that's pretty much it. So those are gonna be quickly done. I'm probably gonna finish them tomorrow i have like half of these shirts pretty much put together they just have to be hemmed and get the grommets in so like i got so much done halfway through that i had to go run to joanne's to get more thread because we ran out of the pink thread for the dresses so i did step out for like an hour to go buy that i also needed more white thread so i did that but we still got so much done i'm so thankful she is the best and she's such a quick learner and i love it and she's also just really nice to work with so very happy about that glad that i was was able to actually get some footage for you guys anyway i am so freaking hungry so i'm gonna go have dinner and then i'll catch up with you guys after and we'll see what else we decide to get done today so it's a little bit later and I had dinner, I showered and all of that. And I also like randomly started cleaning as you can see my vacuum is behind me because my friend Kennedy's coming over tomorrow and it's her first time like coming to my house and I just felt the need to absolutely clean everything. So also did that. Anyway, I think I'm actually gonna start editing this video right now because I wanna get it up hopefully on Saturday. We'll see if I actually end up doing that. But if so, I wanna make sure I start editing it a little bit. So kinda wanna work on that and some other computer stuff 
stuff for tonight. I might sew a little bit later, but also I do have like all of tomorrow. We got so ahead today that I don't feel so rushed to have to get things done right away. So that is really good. Tomorrow I'm actually having one of my custom order clients coming in in the morning. The first one that's actually local that I can actually fit and do stuff in person for, which is really exciting. That custom order video will be up eventually, probably by the end of the month. So I'm gonna have her come in the morning to fit that and then Kennedy's coming over just to like hang out and catch up and stuff because she's coming back from college but also she works for me so we can also get some work done which will be really good but yeah that's kind of what tomorrow is looking like so I kind of want to get some stuff prepped I edited for a bit but I'm having such a hard time staying focused right now and I don't know what I need to do to get myself together but I literally cannot get myself to do anything right now which is weird because it's not like I should be that worn out I guess maybe I spent like four hours straight working which like usually I take breaks but because I have my seamstress here I wasn't really taking breaks at all like that's a good amount of time to just be like straight working so maybe I'm like drained from that but I am really not feeling it but I don't want to waste the rest of the night because it's still like relatively early it's like 8 30 so i could still get stuff done i don't know i'm gonna attempt to get myself to do something maybe i'll put the ruffles on the dresses or something or start hemming some of those tops i don't know i need to do something because i'm gonna stress myself out that is my update um hopefully the next clip is me actually making something <laughs> It is the next day. Last night, I ended up sewing some of the rose tops and then I started putting in the grommets into one of them and then I realized it's like 9.30 p.m. and I'm out here hammering and my neighbor could probably hear it. So I decided it was probably best to stop, but I got like halfway through this one. So there's that. So today I can definitely finish uh, the three of these that I think I had almost fully done. So that's really cool. Gonna get those out of the way later. But I think I mentioned last night that this morning one of my clients is coming in for this dress that you've seen back here and probably like majority of the footage on this video so I need to actually put in the zipper for it is the one thing I need to do before she gets here so I'm gonna do that but I'm also filming the custom order video for this so I'm not gonna like show you guys because that's gonna be in a different video so stay tuned for that one whenever that comes out probably by the end of the month but I need to do some work for that and then once she comes and does the fitting and we do all that stuff then Kennedy's coming over so so I'll probably end up catching you guys after that unless I finish this dress up kind of early and have time to work on tops before she gets here but I'll keep you posted otherwise you're just gonna have to wait till this custom order video to see it. <laughs> you guys in a hot minute but the fitting went well Kennedy came over we had lunch we did a little bit of work and honestly we just planned out the California trip I don't know if I've mentioned this but she's actually coming with me so we planned out just like the timing of everything the clothes we want to bring and wear and then what we actually want to do because we're gonna be in Joshua Tree for the actual event but then we're also going to LA for a couple days so we went ahead and figured out kind of an itinerary places we want to go we went and made reservations for dinner for one of the nights and all that so we kind of just talked through that because we hadn't actually seen each other in person since January, so we hadn't been able to talk and figure out logistics of it. So it was nice to just sit down and kind of talk through it and figure it out. So that's kind of what we ended up doing. And I just now finished some of the tops. I'm almost done with all of them. Honestly, the hammering is just what's taking me the longest. And obviously I don't want to do that at nighttime, so I want to make sure I get some of it out of the way. But I'm not worried about finishing all this up. I'm like super certain I can finish this up like by the end of the week, which is really, really great. So feeling good about that. But anyway, I'm going to actually 
end the vlog here because I actually take dance classes. I don't know if you guys know this, but I have been dancing since I was little and I just started back up again about a month ago. So I have my dance class tonight. So I'm gonna stop right here, eat dinner, and then like get myself ready for that. And I think this vlog is already long enough. So I'm going to leave you with that. Lots of really fun videos coming up. As you guys saw, lots of custom orders, lots of my Joshua Tree collection videos are coming up too because I did vlog the whole process of making everything. So those will be coming soon and just so much really great content is coming. I'm super excited about it all. Thank you guys for bearing with me through this vlog. I feel like it was very all over the place. I'm all over the place just currently in my life. So this is definitely a visual representation of that. And also don't forget to check out Skillshare. I will have a link for you guys down below and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye.